So we're having a conversation about the ecstasy of shared experience, right? When kicking and screaming, we are nonetheless dragged through a communal experience that forces us to, to disrupt our inner critic, to disrupt our regimented selves and break through our neurosis and come out on the other side seemingly a transformed person. Like, this cognitive slip and slide, this induced disruption to the neurotic is terrifying. Most of us leaving, leading lives of quiet desperation will nonetheless choose to stay in the cage even though the door is wide open. We live in a prison of our own making and we stay in it because we think it's comfortable and because the outside, the unfamiliar seems too frightening. <laughs> But once in a while, we tumble down that rabbit hole, we throw ourselves into the moment, and we participate in a shared experience, a communal shared ecstasis, where the ego is smashed in a million pieces and we become one with all. And in these moments, we dissipate all fears, we actually survive them. We come out on the other side of awe, a changed person, moved to the point of tears, catharsis achieved, aesthetic arrest. And you know how it feels on the other side of that? Groovy. <laughs> it feels groovy. It feels like you just got laid. It feels like you just had a godgasm, a mindgasm, an orgasm. Right? You inseminated and were inseminated by the world. And it is radiant and it is full of grace. Time collapses, past, present, and future become a continuous field of time. And in that God-facilitating, entheogenic moment, all is right in the world. And that's what this week has been like for me. And uh, the truth is that everything that we want is on the other side of fear. So... Just love, just love, just love, 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 trust, 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 and go forth.